Right, to put it simply, I've uh, been trying to record this video three times already, this being the third. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Basically, um, I recently went down to my local guitar shop and uh, basically bought three brand new plectrums. Uh, a very thin one, just a 0 0.75 uh, whatever thickness. Uh, 1.0 something thickness and uh, 1.5 something thickness. All these made by uh, uh, Dumlop. Uh, basically, you want plectrums with a little bit of grip on them so they don't slip out your hand. Basically, something I've been struggling with when practicing my guitar is the plectrum falling out of my hand. Uh, before this video begins, though. Um, I'm gonna say the song that I'm gonna be practicing with is gonna be Ozzy Osbourne's Crazy Train. Just because that's the song that I'm currently learning, it's the one that's easiest for me currently. I could be playing something like, I don't know, the CDC song. Uh, I'm just moving my, uh, phone. There we are, that's better. Uh, anyway, uh, the first part I'm gonna be using is the 0.75, um, something something thickness one all right uh, so let's get started oh actually uh, before I do actually I just thought I'm not gonna be doing the like the slidey bits um, because well play simply these brand new plectrums and I don't want them to get ruined let's start it Nailed it. So, uh, actually, before I move on to the next plectrum, I'm going to say this one is best for speed picking. Uh, personally, this plectrum is not the right one for this song. Uh, like, it'll work for something like Paranoid, where you do uh, this. You know, something like that. Or just... Doing the uh, speed picking. Yeah. You know, something like that, that this plectrum would be perfect for. But now moving on to the 1.0 or something, it, something thickness. Uh, again, the one with the grip so it doesn't fall out like it usually does for me. Let's get started.
Alright, so this plectrum, absolutely amazing for this song. I'm really happy with it. Uh, this is my favourite so far. It might change with the like the insanely thick one, but um, yeah, this one's just like really good. It's like it's firm but not too firm. So if you notice, it still has that nice bit of flex that uh, I like in within the plectrum. But now I'm going to move on to the thickest plectrum I've got, the 1.5 something, something thick uh, plectrum, getting grip, falls out, that stuff. First things first, I did try doing this, uh, like the slide, and it does not work with this plectrum. Uh, so if you notice, it just doesn't, yeah, it just doesn't work with thick ones. A start. So, last final thing about this plectrum, perfect for precision picking, like individual strings, like Hell's Bells, for instance. You know the song, like, uh, uh, what does it go like now? It's, uh, yeah, basically. Oh, ice cream. Oh, lovely. All right. Um, yeah, but final thoughts about this plectrum, uh, these brand new plectrums and that. Uh, this one perfect for, for precision picking, thinnest one being like speed picking, like songs like Thunderstruck or anything like that. And then this one is just perfect, like the in between, like it's good for strumming, it's good for individual picking and anything like that. But anyway, if you want to uh, hear more of my thoughts about these pack drums and everything, just Make sure to like, subscribe, and share the video over there, and then and all that stuff. But anyway, yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching. As I said, make sure to like, subscribe, share the video, and stuff. But anyway, this has been Mace Rose Gaming, and I'm out. See you guys later. Thanks for watching, and um, goodbye.